Hello everyone. This is 3 one Pockets and I'd like to welcome everyone back to part number 6 of my Tecumseh Snow King Carburetor Rebuild video. So we only got 10 minutes so let's get started. Okay now before we get started with adjusting the carburetor this is pretty much uh, I use this uh, to describe it I drew it out on a piece of paper we have three different um, calibration points that we have to deal with now the first thing we're going to deal with is our our low speed idle circuit now to adjust this in we're going to need the engine set between 1200 and 2500 rpm that generally allows on our carburetor for us to be able to adjust this idle or this uh, mixture set screw that's on the side here let me zoom in on it a little bit now when I when we typically go to set this up we're gonna start the engine and bring it down to its lowest point of idle which on most um, Snow King engines it references in at around 20, 2000 to 2500 they don't really go much slower than that on idle where a lot of the other uh, different engines will go down to 1200 rpm now what we're going to do is slow it all the way down and when the car when the uh, throttle backs off then we're going to adjust this little screw out until the engine starts to run rich at slow speed and then we're going to turn it back in until it starts to run lean and then we're going to back it out into a happy medium in between typically slightly on the rich side now our next step we're going to take and go to our high speed setting now our top high speed setting most smaller um, Tecumseh Snow King engines their top speed is 3600 rpm so we're going to want to adjust our now we have our high speed circuit on the bottom of the carburetor which is this little screw right here that comes out right through the center of the carburetor I'll put my finger on it it's right there now we're going to have to set that mixture and we're going to do the same thing we're going to open it up till it runs rich and then we're going to turn it back in till it starts to run lean and then back it out into the happy medium when, once we have the engine revved up now our third factor is our governor control now a lot of people who are um, small or engine mechanics that work on motorcycles or cars and stuff sometimes they get confused when this little uh, governor G factor starts to get in the way now this is our governor control right here and it links up to our carburetor um, throttle now on the manual throttle that throttles it up by hand we have a little adjustment screw let me zoom in on that which is right here now this will fine tune in our 3600 on our high speed at least the speed point on the governor so once we have these three factors all together in, in sequence it helps to calibrate this engine and make it so once it performs in under load when we throttle up the throttle it will go up to 3600 rpm and then we'll slow it down generally they slow down to about 2000 to 2200 so that's what we're looking for so our next step we're going to take and start this engine and then reset up everything for you guys so you can see how we do it now before we get started and give this thing a yank um, I'm going to go over our tachometer so we can see what we're going to what I'm doing with this now I'm going to verify in our speeds our factory operating speeds which are at its lowest point between 2000 and 2500 now I'm going to set this on when I'm adjusting the carburetor on the low speed circuit that smaller screw on the side of the the carburetor to set in the mixture now I have the meter set at about 22 to, to 22 and a half RPM right 2200 RPM right now as we can see it on the meter 
Now the way this thing works is it reads by pulsations from the engine and this little loop out on the end will wiggle back and forth and when it reaches its widest span that's when it's most accurate here on this meter. So our next step is once we get that set we're going to move it over to the high speed idle adjustment that's on the bottom of the carburetor and set that up. Now our RPM for that is 3600 so we'll be taking this to verify it in and we're going to move it up the 3600 RPM. Let me see if I can clear that up a little bit. So that's about where 3600 RPM is on our meter. So we're going to use this tachometer to verify in our speeds. So we have a true, you know, um, factory calibration and setup for our specifications. So we're going to start on that next. out of time again and I hope you guys stay tuned in for our next episode on the Tecumseh carburetor rebuild video um, till next time this is YouTube 31 pockets and thanks for watching